What's up guys, it is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com and Jeff, we've got a special five facts today. We are taking a look at the Pac-Man franchise. The entire franchise? The entire franchise. All right. Including that really terrible 3D Pac-Man from forever. And actually, no, we're probably not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the side scroll. How about the cartoon? <laughs> Oh, there was a cartoon. It was awesome. Oh, man. I loved it when I was a kid. Man. So, anyway, this is Pac-Man, and uh, this is going to be uh, this is gonna be fun, Jeff. So, did, what, what, did, what was your first time you played Pac-Man? Uh, geez, God. Uh, I'm thinking... It, <sighs> listen, man, I'm old. I don't remember. <laughs> a long last time ago. I, I'm thinking maybe I played mine like Mr. Gaddy's or something. Like, there may have yeah. been like a, like a mini arcade or something. That or like Aladdin's Castle or the Gold Mine in Highland Mall. There was a pizza inn in Oregon where I lived yeah. uh, where I... That had Joust and Pac Man. So it was probably, and it was one of the sit down Pac Mans. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the tabletop ones. Ta yeah, tabletop ones. Yeah, there was definitely a, um, or a cocktail, I think is what it was called. Uh, there, were, there was definitely one of those, the Mr. Gaddy's, um, that we used to go to when I was a kid. Because I remember, like, having a drink on top of the game, and I was like, oh mm -hmm. my God, that's so crazy. Yeah. And uh, the quarters don't slide off. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, they had that, that weird thing where the, did, did you see the ones where the screen would flip? Like, it would have two sides, yes. and you could, like, flip it so yeah. the person on the other side could play? But yeah, I mean, Pac Man is one of those games. It's funny you mentioned Joust. It always seemed like it was like it was like Pac Man, Joust, and Galaga were like always next to each other. You know? Yeah, like, absolutely. It was sort of like that that triumvirate of games. But I don't know if that's the correct use of triumvirate. But whatever. Hey, let's talk about some facts in Pac Man. Number one, the name Pac Man comes from the Japanese term Paku Paku, which describes the sound of munching on something. Bonus fact: Pac Man was originally called Puck Man in Japan. And if you've watched Scott Pilgrim, you know these facts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or if you slept through Scott Pilgrim because it wasn't a good movie, you might have forgotten that part. That was. <laughs> That was Scott Pilgrim's pickup line to girls. Was it? Yeah, like he'd be playing video games and he mentioned that. Like it was so clever. Wow. Uh, and he, and he was having trouble getting laid, huh? Yeah. Well, actually, no. He gets to hook up with uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead or whatever her name Eventually, is. Eventually, yeah. She's hot, man. Ramona Flowers. <laughs> 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 Moving on. All right, creep. Uh, thank you. Pac-Man was only 24 kilobytes in size when it was released in 1980. 24 kilobytes. That is so small. Yeah, dude, that's a... Uh... I think this text file I'm looking at right now is actually bigger than that, than 24 <laughs> KB. It probably is. There's probably more more text in it. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty insane, man. Like, that, it's crazy to think, like, how, how like... I guess just big files have gotten. I mean, like, mm -hmm. Flash now is, like, 70 megs. And, you know, yeah. like, I think we talked about on the Doom 5 facts. Like, Doom was, like, 20 megs when you install that. And it's, it's crazy. Like, you know, and Pac-Man is something 24 KB. That's, I can't even describe how small that is. And now we're jamming games on the Blu-rays. Yeah, now we're getting 90 gig games or whatever. All right, number three, there are 255 playable levels in the original Pac-Man arcade game. The 256th level is corrupt and unbeatable. Lazy coding. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that was just, like, I wonder if it was 255 specifically for... Like a, like a math reason, like or if know. they just like literally pushed it as far as they could. Um, I don't know. And that 256 level, I wonder if that's. I, I've never seen it. I wonder if it's similar, like the kill screen in, in Donkey Kong. Probably, where probably somewhere. You kind of see lines. yourself, but not really. Whatever. All right, uh, number four. Each of the ghosts in the first Pac-Man game have their own special tracking algorithms to keep the gameplay fresh. The red ghost likes to chase Pac-Man from the front. The orange ghost moves around randomly. The blue ghost moves towards Pac-Man as a center point, and the pink ghost moves 32 dots in front of Pac-Man. Are you serious? That's pretty I, crazy. I had no idea that that much thought went into those stupid ghosts. What, what were their names? It was like Pinky, Blinky. In Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. Clyde, that's yeah, right. right? <laughs> Clyde was the orange one, if I believe. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's impressive that you remember that, John. Yeah, you know. All right, last but not least, when Google created a playable Pac-Man logo for its front page on May 21st, 2010, the game was played for almost 5 million hours. Wow. Wow, that's ridiculous. I remember when that happened. I think it was on, like, Kotaku or, or Joystick or something mentioned it. So Google making a playable Pac-Man logo uh, was responsible for 5 million hours of people playing the front page of Google. So I'm guessing they were also partially responsible for the recession and <laughs> at least 500,000 people losing their jobs. You think the guys at Bain Capital were, or not Bain Capital, <laughs> at, uh, like, or like uh, whatever. Like Enron or KPMG. Yeah, they're sitting there just like, doo -doo -doo -doo, screwing around, play, <laughs> playing Pac-Man <laughs> instead, of, instead of working. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. <laughs> they're like, is this loan good? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. Just push it through. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, right housing right. market's collapsing. Whatever. I almost got this one clear. Yeah. But yeah, so Pac-Man is definitely one of those classic games, and uh, it's one of those that you're always going to spot, you know, like people recreating it or, you know, yeah. seeing it in classic arcades or anytime someone has, you know, like their own personal arcade at their house, you're always going to see and it. And it's they're finding a way to still be really good. Like Pac-Man CE yeah, yeah, is yeah. a fantastic game. Yeah, and now this is the first true sequel, like 30 years after the original game came yeah, out. Yeah, and right? that, I remember like when that game came out, Gus and I were addicted to it for about two weeks. That's that's pretty cool. I, yeah. I love I love the game a game could, you know, as simple as Pac-Man is, it's still something about it is enjoyable. You know, yeah. it's like 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 base gaming at its core. And they they find a way to tweak that 
very simple gameplay to continue to make it challenging and fun and different and feel fresh. You yeah, know? exactly. Which is pretty pretty impressive. And so something something about those classic arcade games that just like they persevere. You know, like something like 1942 and mm-hmm. Pac Man and Galaga and you know like Joust. It's like so simple, but. Yeah, you know, Ga- Joust sucks, but well, you're right about Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tron. How about Tron? Is that okay? okay I'll go with Tron. All right, cool. All right, well, that is Five Facts in Pac-Man, and we will see you next week for even more.